everybody out there in the world, I am the homie No Cash. The K is silent. Y'all know what it is, man. Look, um, I went and reached out to a few people when I moved out here in this Dallas, uh, Fort Worth area. And I was reaching out to videographers, producers, even some of the artists around here, like Yellow Beezy and certain people. And so a few people reached back out, but a lot of people didn't reach back out. But nonetheless, my man Twin right here. What's up, Twin? What's up? Twin from Film Walkers reached back out to me, man, and um, we talked briefly. We set up a meeting that we can go and um, we'll have some lunch. He brought his wife over and introduced his wife, and we all sit down and we put our heads together and see would it be conducive for us to work together and, and do some things. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I could tell from the meeting a week ago, he was kind of cold for a little bit and he didn't know what to expect. You know, I guess I would feel the same way with somebody saying you're a homeless man, and but you got all these subscribers and you got this YouTube channel with views and you're living with people and you don't have a job and you don't have a budget, but you can work. You know, you see how that sounds? So I can imagine how he felt. But you tell the people what you was feeling, man. Uh, I was a little skeptical at first. I had to do a little research and I found out that, you know, uh, I don't know, there's something here. There's something here that that I overlooked, I guess, which is what brought me out today. And, uh, okay, and that's what I want to bring y'all to, okay? Feet was kind of cold last week. He didn't understand what was going on. And so we was going to figure out what would be the initial thing to start with if we start with something because his main uh, interest was to make sure that it's not just a lose-lose for him. He wanted to work out, and I wanted to work out. I want to empower people, especially if he wants to help me. So it's like one hand, wash the other, both wash the face. And so we couldn't come up with that first initial video. Well, God worked in mysterious ways, and one of my cashiers reached out to me, uh, Mrs. Nita, and she is uh, uh, from India, and she wanted to bless me with some boots. And that's why we're standing here, right here in front of Cavendish, right here. And so, make a long story short, I reached out to Twin, and I said, hey, Twin, one of my cashiers, which is my fans, that's what I call them, they want to bless me and get me a pair of cowboy boots, and uh, this is a crazy situation, well, a divine situation, and I want to document it, man. Do you think you can help me out with this? This is a perfect way for us to work together. Here I am. And guess what? Here, Here he am. is. The man drove almost 40 minutes away from where I'm at to come here and help me do this. And I think that it's going to work in both of our favors, including y'all's, because y'all get to see an act of goodness happen right here before your eyes, right? I mean, I didn't ask this lady for this. I don't know the lady from a can of paint, but y'all see this happening to me quite often. And I, and I don't want y'all to think that I'm boasting or bragging or showing off. Don't miss this opportunity to get what I'm trying to show you. Are you picking up what I'm putting down? Because if you're not, I'm about to put it down again for you because it's happening right now. So we're gonna go in here, man. We're gonna get Mr. Twin at Film Walkers to document this thing and everything else from henceforth that Mr. Twin helped me out with. I want y'all to go over there, man, and show that man some love. As a matter of fact, we're gonna start putting snippets on my channel and lead y'all over to the full thing to his channel so that we can make sure that he get viewership and subscribership from my fan base. Because if he helped me, I do want our community to do our best to extend the favor back his way, all right? So y'all be sure y'all hit that subscribe button, turn on your notifications bell, and hit that like button to show my man some love, all right? All right, um. What we do from here? Uh, let's go in. Let's go in. Okay, we, we got to get the lady on the phone. Yeah. Okay, we'll get on the phone and then we just get them going in. All right. All right, well, let's, let's go in the car. All right, y'all tune in. All right, stay tuned. Right after these messages, we'll be right back. All right, well, you say that you, did, you don't believe it. And I'm going to be honest with you. I didn't believe it, but... I, I, I'm a firm believer in like um, you know th dreams do come true and I and I ask I ask God for things like this man so let's 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 see I mean I didn't believe it but she said she's determined to do it let's call her. I'm gonna get this WhatsApp right here and I'm gonna get her on the line if I can I don't want to show her number Hold on, hold on. Hey. Hey, how you doing? Fine, and you? Can you, can you switch on your camera? Why well, I can't see you? Okay, hey, let's go up to the 
Okay, it's all right. I just want to um let you know that I'm I did what you told me to do, and I came to the uh, the place to get the boots, and I'm here at Cavender's Boot Boot City, and I'm gonna do what you told me to do. You told me to come and get some boots, and you wanted to buy me yes. some boots, <laughs> some cowboy yes. boots, and I'm here. Okay, let me go ahead and uh, do FaceTime with you. Okay, you're gonna do FaceTime. I can't see you. The question to switch call to video, yeah, switch it. I'm trying to. Okay. All right, yeah. Okay, here we go. So you go inside. You go talk to the guy. I'm a, I'll let I'll let them know what we're gonna do, and then I'll put you in touch with them to handle the business because I don't want. Nobody else to see what you're doing because it's your business. Yes. All right. So, okay. without further ado, I'm going. I'm going to get out now, and I'm going to go ahead in. And, and pronounce your full name for me again. What? Pronounce your full name for me again. Nita Kumar. Nita. Fumar. Fumar. Okay, and you um a native Indian. You're from India, okay, okay. All right, well, um, I'm about to the door. Give me a minute. Hello, how are you doing? Good, good, how are you? Uh, my name is No Cash. I'm a YouTuber. Um, I have over 191,000 subscribers and over 60 million views. I want to give you some. And I know you're probably looking like what's the camera and <laughs> stuff for, but um, right now one of my one of my cashiers had reached out to me and wanted to get me some um, cowboy boots, and I didn't know anything about where to get them from or what's the good ones or what. So she suggested me to come here to Cavenders, and um, I guess she wanted to purchase me some cowboy boots from here. Gotcha. So would you help me? Yes. What size shoe are you? I am a size 10, 10 and a half. Okay. Adidas, what size shoe are you? Say it again. And Adidas, what size shoe are you? That's three, I think these is 10. 10? Yeah. I used to work shoes, so that's why I know pretty much. Okay. Um, so listen, what, what we'll do, Miss Anita, We'll yeah. call you back after she find the boots for me. She about to take me around to go and look around, and when she, when I find them, then I'll call you back. But ask her if she will take the credit card over the phone. Oh, she say, she said, actually, will you take the credit card over? Yeah, I can. I can do it. She manually. said, yeah, she will. All right, so we'll call you back. You're welcome. Thank you. Peace and love. Um, so you said ten and a half. Yes, ma'am. Do you have a white foot or, or like a... It's not wide. Okay. So matter of fact, I wouldn't, I want to come with some of them sharp toes that I see people with, but you can suggest me, tell me better because I okay, don't Okay, what are we, I how are we going to use them more often? Casually? Honestly, I want to wear them like the swag. I'm really not going to do the cowboy, cowboy thing. Okay. I want to like have the, the nice looking cowboy boot though so that when I swag it out, gotcha. it'll look good. So you said you have regular, just you don't have a white foot, right? Nope, I don't have a wide foot. Alright. Who normally come and get the sharp toe, them, them sharp toe boots that turn up? Like you see people with them boots. Oh yeah. You know what I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah. That's what yeah. they call snip toe. But we really don't have any in this. Like the sharpest will go probably be this or that's it. Okay, well, <laughs> well guess what? Let me ask you a question. If, if cause you're the female, that's why I wanted my, a female to help me. If I was getting some would I would you have me get these ones with the sharp tip or with a square toe? No. Because I don't know nothing square. about it. Square. Square. I, I personally like square. Square. Yeah. Okay, well we're gonna go square. Alrighty. Oh, Alright, um, so you said you have a size ten and a half regular size. Okay. Um what size shoe are you? Um size eleven. Dressier, I would do something that's gonna be more like this. This is gonna be more dressier type of boot. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, these are could be too, but it's just the shine is what's better okay. looking, you're I guess. Right too. I mean, but then again, you can also do like exotics. The exotics are like these fish is really nice. 
Fish yeah, are really them joints are Yeah, exotic. fish are really, really in yeah, right now. Yeah, night in the morning. Them things look nice. You can always, if you wanted to do like more exotics, like the ostriches, like these. It's pointy, but ostriches are always nice. So, it's so like, so, be. so I can get off if it's ostrich. I can get off with a with a yeah with a point. I would I would say that. Yeah. Okay, okay, with the ostrich. square, we do have ostriches and squares, but it just all how you feel like it's a better fit for okay, you. Okay, now here here's the thing that I'm looking at now because I'm looking at these prices. She gave me a $250 budget, but I'm going to let her give you what she's going to give you and then I can pay a difference, right? Okay. And um, I won't, make her, I won't make her feel like if I choose something like that. Okay. I ain't going to go no higher than about like maybe $350, $400. Okay. So yeah, exotics are, more, are going to be more expensive because mm -hmm. it's an exotic animal so I can do you it. get it can so do it. I mean either and there's no uh, first time discounts or YouTube people discount for people that's going I wish it could okay I just tried I tried y'all saw me YouTube <laughs> YouTube I tried to you know plug cavenders but you know. even then these are like like the more shinier ones are always gonna be I like that nice. too I like that it's dope this, this one's like one of my favorites that's one like, of your favorites yeah since if it's like a more going out boot, I like that one. It's shinier. It's gonna be more. You can wear those oh, with look. slacks. Okay. You can wear them with jeans. So you like this one better than this one? They're both nice. I like because they're shiny. But you like these one better? Yeah. They're shiny. Okay, so I'm gonna go with what you like because they're shiny. Because <laughs> they're shiny. That's right. All right, so y'all see she like them because they're shiny. All right. It's Tell, a what's more your name? like perf Nicole. Nicole, you have a um, Instagram. I mean, mm -hmm. yeah. Inst Tell them your Instagram. N two I C. O L three E's underscore three. Y'all make sure y'all go follow Michelle because she really just hooked your boy up. Okay? Alright? So that's how I look out for you. You remember me when I come back in here to get me. Try some, both of them on. Oysters. This is the 10? Yeah. Okay. You always want to try both of them on due to that one's always gonna feel a little bit tighter than the other. Alright. Alright. So it's gonna be a different change, trust me. I went from that to this in a week. I oh. used to work at finish line, so Okay, so it's, you see. Yeah, I know both shoes pretty well. So you, it's gonna, you say it's gonna be kind of like tough adjustment? It's adjustment. different. It's, yeah, it's different, oh, wow. but it's a, it's a good thing. Okay, okay. And is these the kind of boots that if I had pants like on, like these skinny jeans, that I can let the pants go down in the boots? Or you wouldn't suggest me do that? Because I don't know how to rock stuff. No, I would do more boot cut. Not boot big. Boot cut to go over the Yeah, not big the boot. boot like this. Yeah, okay. more like a, just a flare. Okay. You can do like a like a more baggier, like yeah. a relaxed. Yeah. Baby. All right, now I'm about to do the other shoe. I'm going to put on both of them. I got you. Okay. You go from Yeezys to Cowboy boots. Now that's a real big transition. Yeah. Right there. They feel funny. They feel funny. It's like I'm walking on steels as well. Okay. It ain't bad. It's just awkward. Put your foot up on the bench. Yep. It's awkward. Howdy, cowboy. <laughs> okay, so what am I trying to feel for? Is it? Okay, so you want something to be nice and snug? Kind of like a nice firm handshake on your hand. I mean, on your foot. So that's you want it to be like like if I was to grab your foot, if it was like that. I got. You. If you get a good boot, it's gonna last you a very long time. Um, but yeah, my mom just she would take me down there, and I kind of had to. If I'm going out to the ranch, I ain't gonna go in no tennis shoes, you know. Yeah. Yeah. I went to the livestock one time in South Texas, and I stepped on poop. Um, and so that's why they got yeah. the cowboy boots. So I, I was in, I was like in regular, like I think I was in tennis shoes, or no, I was in sandals. And I was walking, I was looking at the cows in the livestock, and I like stepped in poop, and I was like, "Yeah." Uh oh, cowgirl boots from not going. Yeah. So <laughs> since that day, I was. Just how like, old are you? I'm 21. Okay, that's what's up. Yeah. Make yeah. sure you uh, follow me on Instagram, and if you like what you're seeing on, on YouTube, push the subscribe button and gotcha. turn your notifications bell. That helped me out a lot. Yeah. Gotcha. Gonna be famous. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. Gotcha. <laughs> uh, I'm just really not recording this to try to like show off or boast or brag and say look I, people is helping me i'm not even 
doing it for none of that. I'm doing it because I want to display and show people. I want to be an example of what good people do in the world. There are good people in this world. And I don't even know this lady from a can of paint. And she reached out to me um, from watching my YouTube videos and watching me on social media and following me on WhatsApp and just basically said she wanted to get me some cowboy boots because she saw me go to the cowboy spring gathering and she wanted me to look like the cowboys look. So, I mean, you can't make this up. These are going to be 14,000. I mean, 1,400. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Boy, these bad boys cost 1,400. You see that? Now, I ain't getting these now. That ain't my budget right there. This ain't even my this ain't but you can budgetary restraints. The difference between that and this. Oh, yeah, you're right. And that's going to be the real. tail. Yeah, that real. Yeah, that's going to be the tail. And these is imitation. Yep. But that price right there is real, too. Yep. Yeah, them $200 price that ain't imitation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a big difference on those. So. Alrighty, so we said 10. Mm -hmm. That's a 10 double E. It's going to be for white. Ten. You say your mom got a ranch? My gra my aunt had a ranch in South Texas, so my mom was really close. We were going down there, and we would always go out to the ranch. And plus, my grandpa, he lives off of the highway, so it was just more like I literally would step outside, and it's nothing but field <laughs> oh, and the okay. highway. Okay. So it's more like kind of had to. I can do that. Mm. that one feels better. It's Snuggy, like you want it to be snuggy because it's gonna stretch eventually after your wear. Okay, so yeah, that's 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 the tightness, but I think you were talking about right? Yeah, you want it to be pretty tight instead of it being looser. Okay. You never want to go loose because more adjusting to your foot, it's gonna loosen out and it's gonna feel way too Real big. big. Okay. So then you're gonna be like walking, flopping, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. see, I think I think you might be right. Man. These are like ten. Mm -hmm. I think I need to go with some tens one time. Oh, cowboy style. Yeah, I can do that. So you said they're gonna stretch a little bit mm -hmm. more. Yeah, so, can, can so it's gonna be like stretching gonna stretch from right here, more. from right here. Basically, those are gonna be the only spots they're gonna stretch out, unless you have big like ankles or something will stretch out eventually from there too but okay well cool i think it's better on my ankle too remember i was telling you something yeah. on the side on that one mm -hmm. i think the snugger fit made that ankle thing stop. yeah and you want it to be a little bit snug right there like i said areas are really good for what they have inside they have insoles already built in for them so they like those yeah those too. these are really yeah they have their, ins their insoles built in, and then they're pretty tight right here, so it gives you ankle support. You know they have what? good I'm grip. I might swag me out some skinny jeans with these bad boys anyway, just to look fool. Make people look, <laughs> make people look at me and say, what is he doing? But you might, I might, I don't know, I might have to do some uh, a different kind of, not so much skinny jean. I might have to do like a casual type of skinny, skinny pants yeah. to go down in there, yeah, and then put on a extravagant shirt. Yeah, I think these are worth, how much these are? Those. Okay, that's in my budget. All right, so let me go. What we, what we do? You want to look at yourself in the mirror? Let me right here. Yeah, let me see. See, she do her job very well, y'all. Y'all got to go follow her. Now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, working with Cooper. They're nothing. Okay, I got to learn. You know how to two-step? No, I got to learn. You know how to <laughs> Don't be slapping their boots and all that. <laughs> I'm gonna learn how to do it now. Y'all keep on watching. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it now. I'm gonna turn into a cowboy before I leave Dallas, Texas. Now you just you watch come, it. Where you coming from? Florence, South Carolina. Nah. It's still country there too, but it ain't cowboy country. Yeah. You know? And then we I got. I go to Georgia a lot, so. Okay, yeah. It's yeah. different. Different type of country. Too. It is. Yeah. It is. They talk country is about yeah. that. And maybe dress country some, but yeah. that's about it. They this don't got country is different. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Y'all down at the bottom down here in Texas. Yeah. This is my first time ever um, even, well, no, my first time living in Texas. This is my second time coming to Texas. Nice. I like these. You said these fish? Yep. And why they call them fish? Because it's fish. Oh, it's a real fish? Yep. That's why they're pretty pricey. Wow. Okay. So, you know what? I got to try to put fishes on my list and ostr uh, what you say? Uh, uh, ostrich. Ostrich on my list. Yeah. Yeah. I was about to say oysters. Don't be laughing at me, y'all. <laughs>
Okay, so you want me to just go out here and put my other shoes back on and give you these? Okay, gotcha. Sounds good. All right, well, let's go, y'all. How you like my boots? I like them on the internet. You like them? Okay. Yeah, my brother has them. Okay, thank you. You can't go wrong if the ladies like your boots. That's all I'm saying. They buy them, all my fans get together and they buy me all kinds of shoes and stuff, right? I'm gonna just share this with y'all. Even these, these Yeezys, my, my fan had bought them for me, right? And so, a lot of my fans that are watching this stuff happen, they like, why are you getting Yeezys? Those Yeezys are enough to pay half of my house note and you talking about you homeless. But can y'all tell me what y'all think? How can I tell people, that's like this lady, right? When she said, go get you some boots. How can I, how can I convert that to, can you help me get a house? Yeah. That's stupid, ain't it? You just gotta let people help you the way that they trying yeah. to help you. So I'm trying, I keep showing them to say, okay, maybe someday somebody will reach out to me and help me get into a house situation, right? Yeah. But right now it's people trying to bless me in the way that they can. Mm -hmm. And I'm just showing my audience that there's still good people out here that do things like that. You see what I'm saying? But they miss it sometimes. Like, they be like, you know, why she spent $250 on some books for you when she could, why are you worrying about that? Why are you not looking at the fact that somebody just blessed me when I didn't have? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just it right there, regardless of what they did. So, this is going to be a pretty good video, and y'all are a part of it. <laughs> Love, how you doing, Mom? You need to call me on my other phone because this mic is dying, and I need to keep the credit card. Okay, I'll tell you what. Call my phone back from that phone, and you don't have to be on FaceTime to do this. You can talk to her because uh, she, she, that'd be private information. I just wanted the people to see you. Say hey to my cashiers. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, call us back. She, yeah, I'll, I'll call and give my card. Okay, bye. All right. Peace and love. Okay, so that phone that she's on is about to die, so she's gonna call back and then I'll give you the phone and y'all can listen. Okay, sounds good. And it seems like that's gonna, will that look, that be over 250? It's 251. 13. Boom, right on my, right on my budget. She said 250, bam, 251. Mm -hmm. You got it. I got a dollar if she is. You got a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> back you up. Y'all, this is crazy, man. You can't make this stuff up. And I wanna say this to everybody too. Don't look at the fact that somebody is buying me some or why they're buying or what they're buying. Look at the fact that she actually reached out and did it. And let me just say this. She did it through using social media. You see the power, the, the generation that we're living in now, the power of social media if you use it the right way. She reached out to me. She saw me singing, saw me doing my talents and stuff and just took a liking to that and said, I wanted to, I want to give him some boots. Then she used the power of social media to find me on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. And then she found me on WhatsApp and, and, and reached out to me to, to do me a good thing, a, a blessing. While y'all be using social media to fight and to record all the negative stuff, y'all misusing it when it's so much of a blessing when you use it the right way. Now here it is, she done reached out to me about to do a great thing, like buy me some boots, and then I'm gonna meet her because I found out that she's about maybe like 30, 40 minutes away from where I am. So we just about to make it all come together on, in a merry little way. And it's all because she took the initiative to use social media in a positive way and do something to be better. Holla at your I mean, boy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. I think she wants to go ahead and speak to you. Peace and love. How you doing? Fine. Everything good? Yes, ma'am. So is, did you, is everything squared away? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, yep. Yep. Everything was good. So, did, did I do what you told me to do? Yeah. All right. And um, I, I, I kind of uh, extended my, my budget all the way out. To the to the 251, you was talking about a, a belt and, a, and a, a belt buckle, but we'll just wait on that, okay? <laughs> I don't I don't want you to uh, be doing all of that right now. I just don't want you to overextend yourself, okay? Thank you, I appreciate it. Okay, and you're very welcome. What you are done, I want to see you wear it. Definitely, I'll put them when I get me a nice outfit for them. When I put them on, I'm gonna take a picture and I and I'll send it to you on WhatsApp. And I want to say thank you very much. And, and as soon as I get back, um, I'm leaving on the first to go to South Carolina. I got a few gigs to do down there. I'll be going for about three to four weeks. When I come back, I'm going to arrange for us to get together so I can meet you. Okay?
Okay. Did she tell how that goes? Did you see any any improvement in your uh, GoFund yet or no? I didn't check it out yet, and I'm actually going to take some of the GoFundMe cars down to South Carolina because they're going to be showing my um, my documentary down there in a, um, in a movie theater on the 14th, and so it's going to be a real big event, and I'm going to do the same thing that we did at the uh, philanthropy event there. Okay. So okay. I ain't going to rush it. I'm just going to put some, put some juice on it and just okay. let it do what it do. Okay, wonderful. Let's give my love to your sister and family over there in town. Um Mr. Ron and everybody, I sure will. And I thank you very much, ma'am. You have a great day, okay? You have a good All right. day. Bye-bye. Peace and love. All right. I want to say thank you, Ms. No Nicole. Problem. You did a great job. Thank Helping you. Me. I appreciate thank you. Thank you. And follow me. And nice thank meeting you. you. Make sure y'all follow your me. Boots. And I'll follow y'all. Condition your boots once a month. Okay? I will. I will. And thank y'all very good. much. You have a great one. All right. Y'all too. That should make you stop trusting in everyone. But some people, you can feel their energy, man. And the way that this lady was talking to me, and how genuine she was, and because of the fact that it wasn't something that I asked for. You know, this is something that was laid on her heart that she wanted to do an act of kindness to help me. And you know, the Bible say, God blesses the cheerful giver. And I'm gonna say this. Yeah, she did give me a pair of boots. And it, it was $250 for the boots in this, in this uh, conditioner for the boots but she gave me $250 and that's great but do you know when they say God bless the cheerful giver she's gonna be blessed more abundantly for that can you imagine you can't beat God giving can you imagine what the universe is gonna give her back for paying it forward to someone she don't even know and doing a good deed just out of the kindness of her heart that's what cheerfully she did this so you give the ground a little seed like this that you barely can see and you plant that seed, and then you give the ground some tender love and care, and you cultivate it, and you give it some water, and you let some sunlight hit it. And then the ground and the universe give you back a big old tree with fruit on it. Do you see what I'm trying to show you? You gave it only such a little thing, which is a little seed. And it gives you back a big tree with many, many, many fruit. So that's proof that what goes around comes around, that you reap what you sow, and God do bless the cheerful giver. So don't forget to pay it forward, y'all. Come on over here to the top. Uh, all right. Well, I think I didn't prove you wrong, buddy. What you got to say about that? You definitely proved me wrong. Okay, all right. So now you see that what we sit down and talked about. I kept it 100 with you. And now you see my, my cashiers even keep it 100, don't you? Don't you see they keep it 100? For sure, for So sure. now are you feeling real confident about working with this movement and, and, and helping taking Team No Cash and No Cash TV to the top? Most definitely. So is it safe to say right now in front of my cashiers, I'm getting you to give me the handshake of approval that you're going to be the videographer that for the while I'm in Dallas, we're going to be documenting this thing in a major way and we're going to make history together because you're going to make sure it's done the right way. Is it safe to say that? Safe to say. Y'all hear what he said? Y'all gonna hold him to it? Committing to it. Listen, I want y'all to get down in the comment section. He's gonna put this video up on his YouTube channel as well. Um, we're gonna let y'all know where his uh, YouTube channel links and stuff is at in all of the material that he's editing for me because I want to return the favor back and pay it forward to him as well. Um, y'all know I don't have a budget or nothing to really pay him like that and he's being um, kind enough to work with me, you know, for on the back end. So with nothing, if nothing else, I want my audience to go over to his YouTube channel, man, and show that man some love and push that su su subscribe button and make sure that you turn on your notifications bells because we're going to be cross-promoting together and working in a very major way. Once again, I am the homie NoCast signing off with a big tinfo. Over and out.
Peace and love. Stay well and be blessed. I holla.